Every time we punch into our phones, we are connected but disconnecting. Armed with tools that can be used for production, learning, and sharing companionship with one another, young media consumers more often use social media platforms and messaging in unhealthy ways. In her, we see a man who uses technology as a defense mechanism against having to find love again. He is literally letting media control his communicative skills. In 13 Reasons Why, we see just how harmfully our actions can mirror what is spread through media. This begs the question, is it influence or reflection? Are media influenced by the consumers, or are consumers' behaviors reflecting what the content projects onto them? This is debatable. There is no one answer, but we can speculate for either side in our class blog. I've shared my own argument in the post. These are perhaps some of the more abstract questions we consider in the unit. This is why it's important to log our media use and observe how we and those around us are either influencers or products of media consumption. Truly, I believe that society, especially teenagers and young adults, can be reflective of both the positive and negative content they are exposed to by media.